Now, the Franks eventually were led by Charles Martel, ah! who defeated the Sarsians or Muslims at the Battle of Tours in 732 AD. Uh, he had a son named Pepin, as Mrs. Downey told, reminded me to explain it, who started the Carolinian dynasty. He had two sons. The biggest and most important one is Charlemagne, or Charles the Great, who extends the Frankish rule, combines his power with uh, the Catholic Church in Rome, and spreads Christianity or Catholicism, more to the point, throughout all of like Central Europe. Germany, Italy, France, Switzerland, parts of Spain get it. Just a little bit, though, but not quite all of it. He did this from his, his palace in Aachen. Uh, in 800 AD, he goes out and helps the Pope, and he becomes crowned the Holy Roman Empire, as you can see from this picture right here. He also started a revival of education. <clears throat> where they start, and that lays the, lays the groundwork for the Renaissance to come 300, 400 years after that. Eventually, though, his empire gets divided into three parts with his uh, three grandsons, Charles the Ball, Lothair, and Louis. And Louis. Mrs. Downing's in here with me along with Mr. Downing, too. And this eventually leads to feudalism. Later, 